Hi guys, welcome all. Welcome to this channel Simon Ninja. So today I am with another set of video about ANSYS contact types. So let's understand what is a contact. As you all know, contact occurs whenever one body interacts with the other. The speciality of a mechanical contact is that it does not allow one body to penetrate into another. A contact can only transfer compressive, normal and tangential forces. It cannot transfer tensile forces. In ANSYS, two bodies in mechanical contact represents that out of the two, one will be named target and other as contact itself. Out of which contact is represented in ANSYS as red in color, target as blue in color. Below you can see an analysis of pin and disc, out of which the disc is represented in red in color which is the contact and the pin is represented in blue in color which is the target. How to select contact and target all depends upon your physics and your mesh. So how to select it and other details will be explained in another set of videos. You guys can look, look into the videos that I have posted. So there comes a situation wherein these mechanical contacts there may be a geometric or material nonlinearity. As a result the stiffness changes readily. These types of contact are called nonlinear contact. Else it is called a linear contact where there is no geometric or material nonlinearity. Generally, the problems that we face will be having a nonlinear contact. So, ANSYS gives us the opportunity to define our contact as either linear or nonlinear contact. By contact here, I mean the mechanical contact. So, now the question is which are the different types of contact and out of them which are linear and nonlinear? So, let's move on to that next. Here, you can see that there are five different types of contacts in ANSYS namely bonded, no separation, frictionless, rough and frictional. You can see that from the options in ANSYS uh, which is shown on top right corner. Out of which the first two are linear contacts and the rest are nonlinear in nature. So bonded means that the contact and target is stuck together which is called like welded in nature. Initial default condition of all contacts in ANSYS will be bonded in nature. So we have to change it according to our needs. In no separation, as the name says, there will be no normal movement. Only tangential sliding is allowed, which will be frictionless in nature. For frictionless contact, it allows to slide freely in the tangential direction and allows to separate in the normal direction. For rough, there is no sliding, but it is free to separate. For frictional, it slides with particular value of coefficient of friction in the tangential direction and is free to separate. You can see all these contacts nature from the animations as displayed. So here is the list of all contacts and its nature. Hope you guys liked it. Enjoy learning. See you soon with another video. Bye bye.